Hey guys, Barry Infos here and welcome to a new video in which I'm gonna teach you how to open up a laptop, how to clean the files in the laptop and also how to change the thermal paste inside of it. My test subject for today is gonna be an Acer Aspire E1531. It is a 7 year old laptop. I have only opened this laptop once in my life in 2016, 3 years ago, but even then I did not change the thermal paste inside of it. So it does something you should not be doing because I guess you should change it once every 2-3 years, depending on your environment of course, if you live in a dirty place then of course change it more often, maybe once a year or what, what not. So guys you can follow this guide uh, if you want to, um, your build is safe with me, I have worked in a PC hardware shop before so I have opened up many computers in the past, this one in particular only once and I did not change the thermal paste and of course every single laptop is different so Yours may vary from mine a little bit or even a lot, but we shall see, hopefully this guy is gonna help you and uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to mention in the start, let's start with the disassembly, shall we? Ok, I recorded myself disassembling the whole thing and I will narrate after the fact. The first part is to take out the battery, you don't want any power coming into the laptop as you're disassembling it. Take off these two screws and open up this cover. I have opened it recently so it was easier for me, but yours may be stuck. So put some force into it, don't worry. Inside you'll find the hard disk, the RAM and the Wi-Fi card. Mine had no screws, so I could just pull it. Next you wanna take off these two RAM sticks. Again yours may have one stick, mine has two. Take this cover off. And the DVD drive. Pull it like so and it's out. And now comes the screw part, we have many 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 screws so everything you see you need to take off, every single screw you see, and yes there are many of them, so take your time, don't miss any. Including these three on the top, they're very small, so you probably need a different screwdriver for these. Take off the Wi-Fi card and be extremely careful with these two. These cables are extremely fragile so if you break one you're completely screwed. Take your time. Take it off, like so. And you're done with that part. We have a few more screws. Once we're done with the screws. Here comes the most annoying and time consuming part. This is my least favorite part of disassembling a laptop. Taking off the keyboard. Very often you may screw it up and break parts of it, so be very careful, take your time. This is the keyword here, take your time with this disassembly. Laptops could be very fragile depending on their age. An older laptop will be able to break a lot easier. Once it's off you have to unhatch it from here. And there we go, the keyboard is off. And now comes the fun part, to take these cables off. Take the smallest screwdriver you have, or you can use your fingernails if you want to. and take the top cover off. If everything is unhatched, you can take it off. Make sure everything is unhatched because if you force it too much, it may break. And yes, don't worry, it's gonna bend like that, it looks horrible, I know. It looks scary and dangerous, but don't worry, it's made to be bendable, so bend it as much as you can to take it off. And we're done with this part. 
Hello Motherboard. Now take off the memory card holder, which is on the bottom left, you may not have one, many new laptops don't, and pull this cable going to the Wi-Fi card, so it's not in the way. Unhatch every single cable you see, you wanna take off the motherboard, and nothing has to be hatched into it, so take everything off. This may be too small to hold, so use your screwdriver if you must. Take off any screws you see, they may be stuck in place from the edge. And once you have all the screws out, you can take off the motherboard. The fan is underneath it. And this is the last cable you need to take off, it's on the bottom side. There we go, the motherboard is off. Now we have to unscrew the fan and the cooler going to the CPU. Unhatch it of course and take it off. As you can see the thermal paste is still fine after 7 years, not much dust has been piled up. I'm super impressed. Take off all the screws you see on the fan because you wanna open it up and blow on it a little bit. Very good, after I cleaned it, I'll put it back together. These screws are very small, so take the smallest screwdriver you have and screw them back in. Okay, I have some special cleaning product for CPUs, which I used, you can of course use alcohol, clean both the CPU and the cooler as well. And now comes the very controversial part. You do it however you wanna do it, put as much as you want. For desktop CPUs I use the P method, however, for laptops I always do something different, which you may not agree with, but it's what I have always done. For desktops I just put a drop in the middle and let it spread after I put the cooler on. Here however I use a knife to spread it evenly on all sides. If you're gonna use this method make sure it's completely clean, either scrape off any dirt on the blade or get a different blade, a new blade because you don't want any dirt on the thermal compound. And this is pretty much it for the disassembly, putting it back together is the same thing but in reverse, so I'll not commentate this part, I'll just let you listen to the music and I'll see you at the end of the video with some temperature results. See ya later!
This was it for radius assembly, changing of thermal paste, cleaning up the thing, it's much faster now, it's much better, it's much more quieter actually. You can see the temperatures over here, you can see the before and the after, there's a little improvement which is awesome, which is what I was after of course. So yeah guys, this, uh, hopefully this guy was helpful to you, my laptop works uh, perfectly well right now and I'm really happy with it. So guys, uh, this was it, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Before I go, however, I wanna thank all my lovely Patreon supporters, Alex Chavez and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you very much for the support, I'll see you in the next episode.